Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course, and in this module we'll be looking at the Circle KPI gauge. Now this is a very simple visual to show, it'll only take us a few moments to take a look at this one, but it is a circular KPI gauge that allows you to place in a percent value, and you can see and actually adjust the KPI threshold. So it's a highly customizable one, you can adjust the thresholds, I can tell it what I want the high, medium, and low values to be in my different thresholds. And you'll likely, when you're working with it, also want to bring in some kind of a filter. So if you're looking at multiple rows of data, not just a single row, if you're going to display that, you'll likely want to have a slicer inside of your report to be able to actually pick which range of values you want to look at. So if I'm looking at data, let's say from 2012 to 2018, which we will be in our example, then I'll likely want to have the ability to actually pick a certain value. The other option is you may actually filter uh, apply a filter to the visual itself that looks and only displays a single value, and then you'll bring in multiple uh, circle KPI gauges to be able to visualize different uh, metrics in, inside of your report. So it's a pretty nice one, very simple. Let's go ahead and walk you through how you would use the circle KPI gauge in an example. All right, so to get started with this example, we're going to start by bringing in some data. So we'll go up to our Get Data section, and we'll select Excel. We'll then choose this training completed data set that I have, and I'll choose to open. Now inside of this Excel workbook, we have a spreadsheet in it that has basically training that has been done, and we're looking at the percentage of employees that have had five or more hours of training in a particular year. So you can see the different percentage of values here, you can see the number of hours, which we're actually not going to be using, uh, and then you can also see which year it is that we're referencing. So I'm going to go ahead and hit load to bring this now into Power BI, and you should see it loaded into the field list on the right hand side and after a moment or two. And then next I'm going to bring in our visual. Now the visual again is a custom visual so we need to go to the marketplace to bring it in. So I'm going to select from marketplace and we'll choose to do a quick search here to find it more easily. And once we type in circle we find the circle KPI gauge. I'll add that into our visualization box on the right hand side and now I can bring it into our report pane. And so I can bring this into our report pane here to take a look at it. And if I want, I can then bring in, let's say, for example, the percent metric that I have. Now you'll notice immediately when I do this that it's going to aggregate all the percentages that I have together, which is not really what I want to do, which is why I mentioned earlier, you would likely want to bring in a percent, or excuse me, a slicer. In this case, I would do a slicer based on the year. Or you might actually come down to the filter settings of this visual, and I might tell it that I want to filter it to just a particular year by dragging into the filter section, the year that I want to filter on. In my case, I want to make this more dynamic where my users can actually switch back and forth between different values. And so I'm going to bring in a slicer, like so, and then I'll drop the year column inside that slicer. And if you want, you can kind of leverage it as this you know, slider if you want, or what might make more sense is to actually make it something like a list or a drop down value here. I'm going to make it a list. Now with it set as a list, you still need to have a value selected. So you can see as I select the year values, it's going to change my value in my circle KPI gauge to return back the percentage for the year I have selected. Now one thing you may notice as you look at this is it would appear that the lower the percent, the better, which is actually not the case in my scenario. I want a 100%. I want more, at least 100% of my employees to have watched or, or viewed five or more hours of training. And so because we're seeing this brought back like you see here, I need to make some adjustments on my circle KPI gauge to be able to handle those threshold changes. Like the color should actually be red for this one. The color should be green for this one. So we need to make some adjustments to it. So to do that, we're going to select the circle KPI gauge and we're going to work our way over to the formatting section where we can expand the circle properties and make some adjustments. By the way, all of the properties you see below are standard properties that you see in just about every visual that are available to you. So we're not going to cover those because you can see those in every visual you've ever worked with. But if we look at the circle, KP, uh, the, uh, circle properties here, I can see that there's quite a few properties here that I can adjust that are specific to this visual. The first one here is to enable custom font sizes. So for example, if I turn this on, you'll actually notice the size of the font gets smaller. That's because you're now adjusting and working with the font based on this font size property that you have right here. So I can certainly work with this and maybe adjust the size to whatever I want it to be, but I kind of like the size that it was a moment ago when we looked at it as a the font size that came through naturally here. So I'm going to select this Enable Custom Font Sizes. I'll also see that I can select this uh, boldness where I can turn on or off the bold factor that you see here. 
Okay, so you can notice that. Uh, and then I can, of course, adjust the font color. So if I want to right now, it's in black, but I can adjust it and change it to really anything else that I'd like to have. So if I prefer a different color, this is where you can select that. You can also adjust the background color. So if it made sense, you can adjust the background color in some way. I probably don't want to do that in this scenario, but just note you can. And then the next set of properties are pretty important. So the next set is where you can actually adjust the threshold limits. So say, for example, in this scenario, I wanted everything that was less than or equal to 50% to be really in red. It's my, my, my low threshold. I want to make sure that that's indicated as something negative. So I'm going to leave this to minimum threshold to 50. That means anything less than 50 is going to hit my low color that I have here. Now, anything between 50 and right now 90 is going to be falling underneath the medium threshold, uh, which I would actually like to adjust that to something like 75. So now anything between 50 and 75 is going to show up as medium. Finally, anything greater than 75 is going to show up in red. And so I need to actually adjust some of these because I don't want the high threshold to be red. I want the high threshold to be green, and I want the low threshold to be red. So I can switch some of these things around here to be able to indicate this more in the manner that I would expect to in this scenario. And you can see as I make that change, that no longer does 17% show up as green, it's now red, and no longer does 96% show up in red, it now shows up in green. So I have the ability to adjust those thresholds very easily with inside of the custom formatting section of this property, or of this visual, I should say. You can also adjust the inner color size, uh, or the inner color. So you see the color that you have showing up here. You could adjust that color if you wanted to. You could make that a different color, maybe more of a pure black. You can adjust that, but I kind of like the color that it was started as, so I'm going to leave it as that. And then finally, towards the bottom here, you can actually adjust some of the, the line sizes. So if I wanted to, I can kind of adjust the size of the line that you see here to be a bit larger. And I could also adjust the gray line that we see right now to be larger if I wanted. So I kind of have some options on how I can adjust and work with these. Now, maybe I don't want it to be exactly the same size, but maybe I do want to increase the size some so it's more noticeable here. So that's really it for this visual. It's pretty straightforward. You do have this other property here called amendment size where you can adjust the, the placement here a bit. If you adjust that, you'll see it kind of moves the line itself. Uh, so you have some ability to kind of change the placement just slightly as you work with some of those amendment size properties. Now that's it for this custom visual. It's a pretty quick one, like I said. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module.